Welcome back to the WordPress tutorials for the SLCC ePortfolio. Uh, so far we've gone over a few things. We've gone over how to set up the welcome page, how to set up your Gen Ed page with a list of the general education requirements, and we've also briefly gone over blogging on the home page. And in this tutorial we're going to focus in on the core skill of the ePortfolio, and that's uploading signature assignments and reflective writing. And if you remember from the blogging tutorial. This is our list of things that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to learn how to create subpages, create hyperlinks, upload assignments, and insert reflective writing, as well as embed videos. So let's get started. First let's go into the general education page. And let's say you took uh, Introduction to Philosophy, a course that fills a humanities requirement for general education. And as part of that class, your professor required a signature assignment that sort of represents the main learning goals of the class. And now you've completed your assignment and you're ready to put it in your ePortfolio. So the first thing we're going to have to do is create a subpage for humanities. And in fact, we'll end up creating a subpage for each one of the general education requirements listed here. But let's start with humanities. And creating subpages is just like creating pages, which you learned before in a previous tutorial. So let's go ahead and go into my dashboard and click onto pages. And we're going to add a new page. Okay, and so this is going to be a humanities page. And here's how we make it a subpage. You scroll down to the attributes section, and instead of saying that the parent is a main page, now you're going to say the parent is general education. And that will make it a subpage of the general education page. Also, you want to go ahead and make sure that it's in the right order. Uh, you'll want, you know, the composition one to be first, American institutions, you know, in the right order. So, um, humanities is the ninth one on the list. So, we're going to make sure that this shows up in the ninth spot. We also want to disallow comments and trackbacks and pingbacks. And we'll go ahead and publish. And OK, that's done. So you get the idea on that. And what? And again, you'll do that, create a sub page for each of the ones in that general education list. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to push pause and work it up. And then we'll uh, go to the next phase, which is creating hyperlinks. OK, so I've created the sub pages for all of the general education categories. And you can see them by going back into Dashboard. So we'll click on Dashboard and click on Pages. And do you see there now, uh, under general education, we have uh, all of those categories. And now what we want to do is create hyperlinks. What, what we're going to be doing is taking the, let's go ahead and look back into general education, taking each one of these lists and turning the word into a link to a new page, to the sub page that we created. So to do that, uh, let's go back into dashboard and into pages. What we need to do is get the URL or the web address for this sub page. So let's go into edit. And you'll see it gives you an option for get short link. So click on that. And that's the quick link to it. So we'll copy that. Now, now that we have that copied, we go back into pages go to the general education page and edit it. And now we're going to take that composition word and turn it into a link to that quick link that I uh, just copied. So we, uh, as soon as we highlight that composition, then if you notice here, these two buttons became uh, options. So this one means uh, create a link and this one means, you know, destroy the link or unlink. So we want to create one. So we're going to 
click on that and it says well where do you want to link to uh, when you push this composition word and so you just paste the thing you copied and make sure that you only get one HTTP uh, part in there and I like to go ahead and say you know open in a new window I just think it's uh, uh, that's just an aesthetic choice but then I say insert and so now I'm going to go ahead and update that and then we'll go visit the site so that we can see what it looks like and so we go into general education and now if you notice the composition word is now a link and in fact it gives you a preview of that link if you want I actually like to turn that off but um, but so now it's a link and so now when you click on it it's going to take you over into the composition sub page that we made so I just clicked on it and there's your sub page for composition so that's how that works